Guys, just staggering images to see. And I want to take everyone back through the fact that three people were told were injured, but thankfully not considered serious. Mo Hyder was just across the river when this explosion happened, doing his normal report. He was closer to the Nissan Stadium area. And Mo, you felt and heard this firsthand. Yeah, and Henry described that perfectly, Rebecca. It really felt like an earthquake, something I myself have never experienced before. We could feel the ground shake, the covering that was above us. We could hear and just feel that vibrate as we were uh, getting ready to leave that specific area. And we were not very close to where this happened, just across uh, from a Nissan Stadium. The explosion, of course, happened at the AT&T building, a second in Converse in that specific area. Now we're at second in Korean vets. You can see right behind me this kind of a little more quiet here. You don't see as much, you don't see any smoke like we did see earlier. A huge contrast from, uh, you know, what happened this morning, of course. Now, many law enforcement, I've seen dozens of cars still here, even officials from the fire department as well gathering here, working together with the bomb squad, emergency, ma emergency management, federal officials as well, just trying to uh, get to the bottom of this, figure more stuff out to inform the public of uh, what happened this morning. Uh, several canine units also canvassing the area, uh, making sure there's nothing else to worry about, making sure there's no possibility of a second explosion to happen. As far as the damage go, that's really what has been the biggest shocker. I saw near the courthouse uh, just so much, you know, shrapnel, and debris, and broken glass, uh, all just scattered uh, throughout the street. Something I've never seen like this before. And this area, of course, um, is usually a very vibrant. Uh, a lot of tourists like to come here, of course. And the Mayor, Mayor John Cooper did mention when he spoke to us earlier today that it is a good thing that not many people were in that area. Otherwise, this really could have gotten much worse. Something else to note that people have been passing by here all day with such concern and confusion and it's hard to even see the looks on their face. Uh, people were looking forward to enjoying Christmas morning after the year Nashville has experience, of course, with the pandemic and the tornado. And now this people just wanted to end, of course, on a positive note. Uh, Mayor John Cooper did want to reiterate to people that still spend some time and try to enjoy as much as you can with your family, despite the fact Christmas morning did start with this tragedy. Back to you guys.